Hello everyone. Welcome to Wall TV. How are you all? Today we are going to look at a tool which will help you edit your pictures like a professional. So, let's see what that is. Polar. This tool is one which will help you edit your pictures real fast and look them edited like a pro. Now let's see how to install this tool on your computer. Open Google Chrome and go to apps on the top left corner of your screen. Click on Web Store. Search for Polar in the search box. Results are shown according to the ratings and comments on the tool. Click Add to Chrome right beside the name to install the tool. The tool is around 3 MB and is an offline tool. You can use the tool to edit your pictures offline. Click on Chrome App Launcher and open Polar. This is the home of the tool you are going to use to edit your pictures. All the options you see on the top of the screen are activated as soon as you import a picture to edit. I am importing a picture from my computer. Just click on import picture from device to import a picture you like to edit. I have imported the tulips picture which is default picture in Windows. Now you can see all the options active on the top. The first one is account. There are three options in this menu. Change language, import preset and export filters. Use change language to change your language. The default language is English. There are many other languages available in this. We will see what other two options are after we have rough picture of what our tool is and how does it work. Now you can see the second menu is white in color unlike the others. It is because it is in use. The name of this menu is filters. You have many filters which are predefined and can be used to edit your picture at one click. There are also subcategories in this menu. Most used, custom, modern, film, art. There are a total of 36 predefined filters 12 modern, 12 film and 12 art which can be applied at a click to your picture. There is also an option right next to predefined filters to create a new filter. You can create a filter just like the predefined and save it to apply to other pictures at a click. It works just like a macro. It does the repetitive commands on the picture you import in the same sequence you save. We will create a new filter after we are done with exploring the tool. Sick on the filters to hide the filters on the left of the screen or you can also use the shortcut key F to open or close the filters menu on the left. The next one is history. The tool remembers everything done by you on the pic. You can undo each and every activity you have made on the picture. To see what you have done on the pic just click on the history or use H key to open. Everything you see in the box is what I have done on the picture till now. You can restart your editing freshly if you didn't like the edit just by clicking revert to original on the top. Use clear history button to clear all the activity. The option right next to history is import photo and the one next to it is export photo. You can import numerous pictures at the same time and can also export them through batch export. The two options next to import and export are undo and redo. The keyboard shortcuts are Ctrl plus Z and Shift plus Ctrl plus Z respectively. At center of the header you can see the resolution of the picture, megapixel and also the percentage of the screen it occupied. By double clicking the picture you can make it occupy 100%. Now we are done with the options on left side and center of the menu, let's move to the options on the right side. The first one is one to one or fit to screen option. If it's one to one then then the picture is resized to fit the screen by 100%. If you click fit then the picture fits to the space between left and right options to give complete view of the picture. The option next to this is full screen. You can go full screen editing your picture. This gives you better quality and close look of portion you want to edit. The next two options are before and after of the picture you are editing. The first one shows both the pictures side by side and the second one shows the picture beneath the other. You have to click and hold it to see the difference. The last five options. These are the most important of all the options. 
First one is crop and straighten which can be used to crop your picture. You can select the portion of your picture you want to show and can cut it out from the whole picture. You can also crop the picture in standard sizes that are shown on the right. The picture can also be rotated by 90 degrees in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Straighten is used to rotate the picture. This tool can rotate the picture by 45 degrees in upward and downward direction. The picture can be flipped upward, downward, to right and to the left. The two options next to this are radio mask and gradient mask. We will see what can we do with this after doing adjustments which is next to these. This is the menu which does the real editing to your picture. There are 8 sub-menus in this section. Each have their own importance. Histogram shows the colors in the picture. This shows the presence of color at each part of the picture. For example you can see at this area you can see green is more than yellow. This is reflected in the histogram. The seven sub-menus next to these are popularly known to the picture editors. But if you are novice and want to start editing you pictures yourself, then this tool has amazing tutorial for each and every option you are going to use. Just click the question mark on the top right corner and go to show adjustments guide. This has detail guide of how those options work with your picture as sample in it so that you can decide the effect you want to apply easily. 21 features are shown on your picture. The combination of all these options give you various looks to your picture. If you want to edit a portion of your picture then you can select the radio mask or gradient mask. These masks help you mark the portion of picture you like to edit. These come handy when you want to highlight subjects of your picture. If you want to apply the same edit to your other pictures then you can record the edit and save it to your computer. This activity is creating a filter. The filter can be stored to your computer and can be installed when you want or you can also email the fighter to your friends so that they can install and apply your cool filter to their pictures too. Click on filters and you can see the filters symbol with a plus mark on it. Click on that to create a new filter. Mark the options which you want your new filter to record. Give it a name and then save. By clicking on main menu and selecting import reset you can install any new filter. You can also install a filter your friend has made to your computer and apply it to your pictures. This completes the video about Polar which is very handy and user friendly to edit pictures real fast. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Videos.